Yo, this is the Cast Podcast episode of us. You know, we got, you know, it's me, Sammy B, Luisa L. Yo. Don Don on the board. What's good? What's good? What's good with it? What's good with it? We got my man, Yosan Tyler. Can I get a one time, one time, one time, one time, one time? What up? What's good, man? Yo. <laughs> mad energetic. Mad energetic. What's good, man? This is the Cast Podcast. Thank you for coming on, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right, so um, your son, your son, Tyler, I've been trying to get him. You know, it's actually been my fault because I've been saying, like, for the past, like, three or four months that I was going to get you on the show, and I keep prolonging it because we've, you know, been handling some internal affairs on the cast <laughs> podcast. And, um, you know, I, I definitely I definitely stated that I was going to get him on um, after New York Fashion Week, which we've had, you know. And so after we did New York Fashion Week, uh, you know, I'm glad to, to get my man, Yosan Tyler, superstar musician, superstar entertainer, superstar actor, superstar um, wine taster, superstar wine taster, <laughs> YouTube star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, my, my, my man is, is being so many. You. If you've seen his social media, like you see him on on social media on IG. You see him on like the Twitter, like he didn't like all these like strip clubs, you know, toasting the strippers, you know, with money, <laughs> and wine and with all these things, you know, my man, your son, Tyler, man, thank you for coming on, bro. It's all good. Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, man. All right, let's start. Let's start about what your upbringing, man. You know, um, we were actually, actually was just speaking to my co-host, uh, Louisa L. Who's also hey. a superstar model. She does a lot of models. Speaking gigs. of strip clubs. Uh, what's your favorite strip club in New York City? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really go to too many strip clubs in New York City, actually. Wait, wait, say I, that I one more time. Really You're a little... Club when I'm there. You don't? No. When I'm, when I'm there, I never really actually been to no strip clubs. No. Really? Next time you're in, let's go. Yeah. All right. Starting this off right. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he do, he do, he does he does a lot more like the acting and the, he's a musician. He does a lot more music. Mm-hmm. Um, the acting. You've been in you've been in the shy. You've been in Chicago Fire. I know you from being on like the Bad Girls Club on O, the O Channel O Network, and then also on Empire. Man, you you've done and you've done you've been in a couple episodes. Also working, you know, a couple of the music, the sounds like the soundtrack music for both of those. You know, that's that's where I know. But I know you know just looking at your biography, you know, the shy. You know, and just you know, Chicago Fire. You know, just being on different TV stuff, man. You know, how does that how does that go for you, bro? Uh, I got into it just like uh, just like through a friend was working for a casting company, and I'm like, I hadn't really gave thought to somebody I was like, you ever thought about getting into acting? And then I was like, after I really gave it thought, I'm like, you know what? I could do this. Like, it's it's not really interesting. It became intriguing to me, so I just, you know, I went for it. I started off doing the background. I've been doing a lot of background and working my way up. I did stand in um, for Todd Dollar Sign. He's going to be on the upcoming Empire. I ain't really right. supposed to talk about it, but can I get it one time for Todd Dollar Sign? Can I get it one time? You know, uh, so clap for that. You know, me Todd Dollar Sign. You know, and with his, all his, he's been able to go through with his legal stuff and he's been able to pull out. You know, as a musician, though, he's a superb musician, artist. You know what I'm saying? That's a one time for that. Yeah, he's dope. He's dope. Yeah. He's dope. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, so he's gonna be in the up. So uh, right now, you're taking your. Are you take? You currently taking the the, the Empire rap? Right? right now, like yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be up there. Um, we gotta fit it tomorrow, and I'll be back up there Tuesday before I head out to Austin, Texas for the South by Southwest. Oh yeah, oh. are you performing? Shout out to that. Yeah, we're going down there. We'll do, do a couple things side by Southwest. Yeah, mm. that's, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's cool. Yeah. South by Southwest, I know that they, they're doing, um, I think they just started like last weekend. Or I think they just started because I've saw, I seen people's feeds yeah. on the Instagram that they got in already in Twitter and stuff. So yeah. that's dope. That's yeah, dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that festival, it gets bigger and bigger every year, bro. And not only that, like yeah, CNN. CNN and like all these Fox and all that like the news outlets are like our top part of the the, the the talking sessions, you know what I'm saying? So it, it gets bigger and bigger every year, you know, with uh, the South by South West. That's dope, man. Um, how did you get with the like the, the Bad Girls Club thing? Because I've seen you on a couple of YouTube videos 
and a couple of shows. <laughs> you know, it's kind of <laughs> crazy in the badge with the Bad Girls Club, man. How did you? How did you? How did you get? Well, actually, with that, one bro? of my best friends, my best friend, she was on there, and she also was my publicist. Um, so she was one of the girls on the show, and she just invited me to the crib, and she just got turned up. Niggas got it, and now yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Luis, we gotta get you. Luis, yeah. we gotta get you on one of. Get the me shows. on the Bad Girls yeah. Club. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get you. Yeah. Why not? You know, like, Luis is everything, man. Yeah, <laughs> I I work on it, you know, but you gotta give me ten percent, Luis. If I no, if I I'll give, give you whatever you want. <laughs> Let's do this. You gotta support each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. One. That's how it goes. Well, how did so? What's the with the shy joint? That was that was kind of shocking. Did you do the music, or you was actually in one of the episodes for that too, as, as well? Yeah, in mostly Chicago yeah, Fire. But it's, it's fun. yeah, as far as the um, stuff that's coming on Fox, it's just been like uh, background work and taking auditions and stuff like that, working my way up, studying, you know, practicing. Developing, just learning, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yo, son, are you currently enrolled? Um, I know that you said you started off with a lot of background work and, and you're continuing to do so, but um, are you currently enrolled in like an acting school? Are you taking classes? Like, or is it just something that's no, coming no, naturally I'm to you? I'm with a casting company right now. Oh, okay. And they're no, just sending the, you out? Uh, I, I have took a class before, but I'm just like, more or less reading this. We got this one powerful book. Yeah, I'm just really, you know, watching that, and of course I'm all set, so I'm learning hands on. You know, right, right, right. I'm so around, you, say, you know what I'm saying? I'm around yeah. the best, I'm the best. Terrence, Roger, your son, oh, man, you know, right you there, know, right there, you want to learn from the best, they're right there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking not, about it too. Watching. Yeah, I'm right there next to him, so I'm, I'm taking lessons every day, I'm learning, right? I'm developing yeah. and all that, watching the background. You know, well, go ahead. Your son, yo, we gotta bring you gotta bring some stuff to New York, LA, man. You gotta like, you know, show us how we gonna get in like maneuver. We you know, already know we go into the strip club, Sammy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think be lit. I'm always bro. like going to New York and LA ever so often, so I know those trips will come up again. I know I got, <laughs> when you, when you you get, listen, I got Miami music this at the end of this month. <laughs> when you come, when, huh. when you come in, when you come into, when you come into New York, man, check in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta check in so I can pick you up. Bro. Oh yeah. I had Uber, Uber, check Uber, 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 sure. Uber XL vehicles waiting. You know what I'm saying? For you and the team. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'll come to New York. I'll I'll come you. Up for you for sure. Yes, sir. I may have the connections with the strip club sapphires. <laughs> yeah. We'll go over there. Yeah, I don't know why I'm obsessed. Yeah, it don't matter. But you. So what's what's going on with your music? Because I know you really focus on that. Like, what's going on with that? Like, um, what are you going right on? now, I'm about to drop a uh, uh, storyteller three. It's a tape with me and my brothers, man, Willie Bobo. We had a storyteller one and a storyteller two. Storyteller three dropped uh, April first. It'll be on nice. all platforms. Yes. Um, nice. Two, three Congratulations. Cool. Yeah, that's just pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Cool. It's just real. It's, it's some of that real Gary Indiana shit, but at its highest class. It's, very respectable joint. You know, we lost a couple brothers. You know, that was close to us in these last couple R.I.P. 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 I was just, I was, I was just debating with um, I was just debating with my co-host Luisa. So, are you, were you, were you born, were you raised in Indiana or you raised in Chicago? Because I know you go like, w w how, how does that work? Um, it's like this. It's like you know, how close, how close is the Jersey from New York? Twenty minutes, thirty minutes. I'm sorry, how close is where? Jersey from New York. Oh. Um, nah, it, it's like what well, the is like, like fifteen minutes, maybe ten minutes. Nah, well, Jersey exactly. City, Jersey City, yeah, exactly. yeah. So, so, and, and you go over a bridge to get there, right? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the past same thing with stuff. Chicago. It's the same thing with Chicago and Gary Indiana. Right, oh, that's what I was telling them. Chicago. I was, I, I was right telling there. them. I was saying, same I was saying, close. I was, so I was we telling us back and forth, but I'm born in Gary. I'm, I'm from Gary, Indiana, but I no. work in Chicago and I fuck with a gang of Chicago niggas. That, oh, that's, wow. like, that's that's what I told Luisa. I was telling her that I was like, "Yo, yeah, yeah." Like, in the long, the, the younger years, he might have been in Gary, Indiana, but like I know, like his his stomping grounds in Chicago, like you know the music. Mm -hmm. yeah, all this shit is the stuff. same. All this shit is the same, really. You feel me? It's just like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Indiana, but you know what though? Indiana, Indianapolis too, but yeah. all the big opportunities in the city. You feel me? My right. city ain't got no downtown. My city ain't got no big buildings. They're not cutting fat checks in Gary. You feel me? My city is like yeah. one savage. Hellhole, like <laughs> to really uh -huh. put it in basic terms, this is a whole other level. 
Like, gotcha. It's small and it's real potent. Yeah, well, you yeah, know what we call Jersey that. to New York, right? We call it the armpit because fuck Jersey. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I never heard that. I never, I never heard that. I never heard that. I never heard that. Or what's Jersey, the Staten Island? Come I forget. Come after Louisa. No, no. Don't come after me. I never no. heard that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know, you got some good shit in Jersey, though. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's always a joke. Ain't no though. tax so over there, right? <laughs> oh, right. Exactly. Uh, there you go. No yeah, freaking Jersey. taxes. That's the that's the that's the sales tax. They will catch you if you don't pay your taxes. Don't don't get it twisted. <laughs> I mean, it's it's for ridiculous clothing, for clothing and food like you know what i mean they, they don't have to sell it but trust me other taxes you will be paying property taxes they will come at you so don't new york it. city tax is the worst tax the don't ever of, live here the state of new york taxes the heart the highest taxes you know it's so bad Seriously. that people be trying to it's so bad that people be going to florida and north carolina and all that but they now the state now the state is saying that they're going to be coming with the audits on when you go to other state other states they're coming after you, so don't get it twisted. New York will come after you for their taxes. Trust and believe. New York but, is a place, like, it'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Living it, you're just gonna die. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, we, just, we die hard in New York. Don't come here. There's so many people in that fucking place, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Think. So yeah, watch, motherfucker. <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> I know. What's, what's your next wait, wait, wait. move, though? No, what's no, your, no, before we get move? to... Wait, wait. I did. I did have a question though. Um, one of your your videos. I was watching it. Uh, to your your music video, make make me bigger, and I thought that you were speaking another language in the video, for the chorus, maybe. Yeah, it's like Yoruba. It's Yoruba. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So, do you speak more than? Do you speak other languages? I mean, my mother is Puerto Rican, so I know a little bit of Spanish, and uh, my spirituality is a, of, of a Yoruba origin. So. Yoruba, uh, Yoruba, uh, Yoruba. That's that's actually a Nigerian. That's actually Nigeria. Yoruba. That's the, like one of the yeah. tribes in Nigeria. So oh, that's really cool. I know, but, but like you know, how when you go to Cuba it? and Puerto Rico and Brazil, they changed they changed it. So I know a little bit about how that culture goes. Yeah. That's yeah, so interesting. Like, when did you? When did you? Um, were you always into that? Uh, I don't I've been know, into that, that practice. Since, like a young teenager, since a young teenager. Yeah. Yeah. I've been about it. I was around Richard Worshippers and Shay Shay Worshippers and Baba Lau and stuff. So I got introduced that to the, like a you know, a teenager. Yeah, that's really cool actually because that's one thing that um really stuck out at me when I was listening to your music. When I heard that in specific, I said, Oh wow, like that's obviously something that makes you unique, at least to me. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's out, you know. We we started off we rappers, you know, trap music, hip hop, all that, R and B too we mess with. But we also got a white cloth music group that we started, and that's just straight spirituality, and you know, it's infused with 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 trap, infused with rap. You know what I'm saying? But it's about African spirituality. It's about Christian worship and African gods and deities and stuff. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really cool. Sure. I like it. I yeah. like it. So, what's your next? What's the next step that you're trying to do? Like, what? What? What do you? What's your next step? What's the next moves? Oh shit, we 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 trying to go um Africa song too and do actually some of those we should really go over there with some big high priests, African priests we deal with some different tribe stuff and collaborate on a bigger scale. Maybe we'll oh my God. that artists. is awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, like I say, storyteller three dropping. I also got something for the women I'm dropping after that. Like so where? It's called Situations. More like R and B, like bounce type feel. More for the ladies, talking about a lot of stuff women are like. You know, it's called situation. That'll be a solo project after story time. So, uh, so that'll be the pregame music to the strip club when you get here. Oh, yeah, listen to that. Yo, your son, your son. Your son. Your, your, your son. Me and you spoke. Yeah. We spoke last time, and we spoke before. We speak. We speak different times. We, we spoke. But our biggest conversation, and I know they, they talk, is the Jesse Small. I know you on the set on that, boy. And we was talking about it. Mm. What's going on, man? What's going on? Well, give me the update. Because me and you, was, we was conversing about it. We had a really good heart-to-heart -heart about it. We knew that your man, Jesse Smollett, and now you on the Empire set. How's it look? Because they, they took him off the two last episodes. The two newest episodes. They, they, the two final episodes, he's off. So what's going on? Like, what's the yeah. what's the atmosphere with that? I don't really know. What's going on? Like, when you're in a professional set, like, you got to carry yourself a certain way. So, really, right. I don't really even, when I be on set, you know, I, I try to keep everything professional as possible, you know what I mean, to avoid any complications with what I got going on in my right. elevation of my career. So, 
speaking smart, about smart, certain people, smart. Uh, colleagues and stuff like that, I really just stay away from it. I don't even really indulge gotcha. in it, you know what I mean? Because yeah. most people ain't going to indulge in it either because they really look at it like how I look at it. So they just really was right, right. speaking on it. Only stuff is it, I but it's, it's, everybody else basically saying on, on, on TV or something. But, you know, got you, got you. But is the set quiet you know, now? Like, is it kind of quiet? What, what's going on? Like, what's going on? I mean, Nothing. quiet as far as what? What do you mean, say quiet? Like, what? No, I mean like you know, you know, with the buzz and like what's what's going on? like is everybody kind of just looking Empire, forward Empire, now? Empire is always gonna be successful. Empire gotcha. is gonna be successful because the people behind Empire are some creative. You know what I mean? They're gotcha, some creative gotcha. geniuses. The people gotcha. behind Empire are some creative geniuses. You feel me? They they gotcha. know how to put it together the show. That's why that show is so successful. It has a great combination of great directors, writers, and some of the best actors in the game. You feel me? Gotcha. Under those three laws alone it's gonna be successful. People love gotcha. it for a certain reason and they keep reinventing it and giving out more of what people love. So it's gonna be successful gotcha. because they smart and I'm on set so I see things before they happen and so I know they're going in the right direction. It's just gonna get bigger really if anything. As long as it's on TV it's gonna be huge because they got good ideas and the type of people they have popping in and out the show, you know, strategically it's smart. It's a well put together show so Got you. It's gonna you, stay lit. It ain't gonna never be quiet. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> you got you. Got you. <laughs> and plus, you you got the you got the, the connection with the fox. You know, what I mean, like you said, with the the shy. You know, you just keep maneuvering yeah. and, and finding different different yeah. opportunities. Yeah. And gotta but respect all, that. You know, when you come to like the music, it seems big. It's so many want to be rappers and stuff, but it's only controlled by a very few. Just like the film industry, it's huge. Got There's you. a lot of stuff going on, but it's all a small circle still. You know, so yeah, right. I try to keep my circle myself within those circles. Of people that's on what I'm on, doing what I'm doing, that could put me in position, you know, elevate. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll be on. So, like, if I'm yeah, around these niggas who are doing the shy or doing Empire, then it's just another show being filmed over there. I got a chance to be in there. Like, yeah, I was in gotcha. one another called Easy. I was in something called Easy. It was another show that was on Fox, and I was also did um, another one called um, what was the name of this? Oh, it's called Proven Innocent. Yeah, got you. Proven got Innocent. You. Yeah, so. Just trying to stay gotcha. busy, man. Yeah, man. Develop that's... more. Take more auditions. Once I get real confident, like I'm about to be when I'm done with this book and sharpen my skills, I'm going to take more auditions. And I should have a big, big, you know, I ain't going to say should. I will be having a big look and something coming real soon. Yes, sir. You know yes, sir. Yeah. Cool, man. Now, you, you nice. need to use it? I got that's a fact, yeah. man. Sounds yes, exciting. Son. Yes, son, man. Thank you. Hold on, I'm giving this over the phone. Oh, that's your people's. You know, they're trying to get you out of there because you're big and famous. Now they're trying to get you, get you moving, <laughs> get get you out of there. All right, man. You know, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you for coming on, man. Let's get a one time, one time for your son, Tyler. On the cast, the cast. You know what I mean? Um, we definitely gonna um, you know, keep 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 you informed. Keep, keep in keep, touch. Keep, yeah, you know what I mean with your social media. Yeah. Following you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and appreciate you know what I'm saying? Yeah, appreciate Thank you, man. Yourself. And when you come to when you come to New York, yeah, reach yeah, out, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking yes, forward sir. to reaching out to before I do some things. Take all our stuff to the next level. Got you. Got nice. you. We gonna we gonna definitely set you up with Louisa so you can you know what I mean make it rain. On the Let's go, place. Uber X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yes, we sir. Got April first. Yeah, sure. Tell us what you look for. <laughs> make sure you get the link. Get the link. You know, enjoy yeah. Well, what, what, when is it? April, 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 Yes, sir. Thank you, right, sir. Cool. You know what I mean? Thank you, your son, man. You know, and we definitely yeah, move out. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I'll see y'all soon, man. Love. All right. See ya. Have a good night. All right. Bye. Yeah, that's my man, your son, Tyler. You know what I mean? We'll get a one time for him. Thank you for, right, thank you for coming on, man. I mean, Luis, what you thought, man? I said it was man. I uh, know. He seems really cool. And you know what? The best part about him that I really like um, is just that his personality, he's very open. And the spirituality aspect of him really shines and comes through. Um, you know, like, it really, you, you just feel that in a person, you know? Like, yeah. when they're very educated, he seems like he's he really has a good head on his shoulders. Like, he's not about the drama and the gossip. He's really just about, like, putting his head down, doing the work, you know, hustling, just getting out there. And that's the best thing you could do, you know, like that's what we're all trying to do. So, um, you know, I really appreciate that he has a good head on his shoulders, you know, because like that's a lot a of fact. people, a you know, they're always like, 
I don't know, you know, depending on how big you get, you could be all into the nonsense and forget what you're really doing, you know? That's the figgity figgity fat. Yeah, fat, so that's fat. really cool. What's good? So what's, what's going on, man? What, what's going on online? I like, know. What's, going on on the trend? what's the we trending topics? Yeah, um, what's up? Well, what's going on? Right. are we getting into hot topics? Yeah, let's look. I mean, whatever, man. What's going on with your with your life? What's going on with the the, the fashion? We just did the New York the New, the New York fashion shit. We just yes. came off that. That was that was yes, pretty we dope. Did. I modeled in that's a few dope. shows. Yeah, that's um, dope. as everyone knows, we were at the New York Music um Music Conference, right? Um, conference. for Fashion Week. At New York Fashion. Yeah. Mm hmm. And your girl was out there on the red carpet, interviewing yeah. all the designers, all the artists. Yeah. Um, made some connections really? there, which is really cool. Met Kelly Dempsey. She was really, really cool. Um, nice. You nice. know, uh, Project Runway, I think season yeah. 14 um, contestant. And she was just so humble, so nice. She, um, she said that she's gonna, she gonna, she gonna be on. Did you get her, get a contact? Maybe get yeah, yeah, yeah. We connected on, um, on Instagram. You know, I had even asked her if I could model for her, and she was like, "Yeah, absolutely." So, so wait, she, she was on, she was on, um. She was Project Runway. Project, Project Runway as a contestant. Mm -hmm. So what is she doing now? Yes. Like what is she, she what else is she I mean, got so I read I read somewhere also that, you know, she's a full time designer. So I don't exactly know right now. I know her she has Rack Addict, which is her personal line. Mm -hmm. Um, so for all of you out there who wanna check out Kelly Dempsey's line, Rack Addict. Um, it's really cool. Her her style is very loud, I wanna say, but in mm -hmm. a good way. She mixes a lot of sparkle sequins. Um, colors, designs, patterns all together. And um, her stuff is really edgy but fun at the same time. So oh. you could really see that in her work. And um, who else? Courtesy, there was this um, up and coming, you know, rapper from New Jersey. Uh, Courtesy, oh. he was really cool. Um, I did an interview with him. Um, Arlen, another uh, singer songwriter, I believe from Philly. She's in mm -hmm. Philly. So, you know, just like connected with a, a bunch of people. Um, going to be letting them know as soon as our, you know, video was put together and all up and running. We're just going to send out the links to them or I'll send out the link to them. Cool. And, what's, you know, what's, just keeping in touch. What's going on on the news? What, what do you think about this whole Gucci thing, man? You know what I'm saying? That's been going around. It's kind of died down now, you know what I mean, from a few weeks ago. But you, you heard about what's going on with the band and all that with it. No, I mean, um, you know, people are kind of upset with the blackface. Um, they they put out a blackface, I think, sweater, and it was like, like blackface, and you know, a lot of artists and celebrities have been kind of up in storm, you know, talking, you know, I, having a really positive conversation about um, people of color, you know, being in, included in the decision makings and the higher ups, because not a lot of right. minorities in the fashion industry. Um, oh, I see. You know, what the yeah, hell yeah. is this? So, I actually you, didn't uh, even, you know, that's what's crazy. I didn't even hear about this. Um, I've heard. Been, well, no, it's kind of died down now because um, Dapper Dan, who's um, a black, uh, uh, I guess, Taylor or, or famous Taylor, he's in the fashion industry kind of brought CEO of Gucci and they had a big meeting or some, some type of meeting with a lot of uh, minority um, designers and, you know, right. and they were talking about, you know, the whole blackface thing. And it's just not just with, just not with African American communities. Obviously he spearheaded it, you know, because it's a blackface, you know, being, but also just minorities in general. Right, right, right. That happened about a few weeks ago. And now it's been, you know, kind of evolving in now like celebrities and, you know, you yeah. have, Blacks, Latinos, Asian, um, Native American, like a lot of people have kind of come to the table like, yo, there's not a lot of representation of minorities in, in the higher echelon of, of fashion in general, right. you know, and it kind of, you know, a lot of people were like, you know, you know, we kind of go on after Gucci because of the symbolism, but now they, you know, saying, well, we maybe should go after Louis Vuitton, which is interesting because Louis Vuitton, actually, the, the head of menswear um, is, uh, you know, actually one of Kanye West, he, he, um, he created Off-White, I forgot his name, but he used to run with Kanye West, and he's actually the head of menswear for Louis Vuitton, so, um, you know, but to, to just the whole discussion um, about, you know, uh, these, these lit fashion labels, misrepresentation of yeah. stuff. So I but dude, but this is wild, though, like, this is so blatantly, like, who, first off, fashion-wise, it is 
like who would wear this? Honestly. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's like, the whole industry. The industry is a big industry, so we I can't. Mean, I mean, the person I mean, who really, it, she actually stepped down. Stop playing. Stop playing. Would you put that on? Um, I mean, I'm no. Not, I'm, the answer I mean, is no. I mean, that's what the I mean, answer. I'm not. See, I'm not in the. See, you're more into the fashion world than I am. You know what I'm saying? I just. But you would wear I, this. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really big on no fashion. Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not really right. big on fashion, you know, like that. Anyway, I'm it's more not of a fashion not forward. Fashion. You see, you know what? Saying, uh, it's not a good thing. It's not a good look. You know what? It would have been so much better. I mean, just because of the sheer design of it, right? Like, it literally looks like they painted. It looks like half of blackface, like painted the bottom half. You would have been but so much better off the, just the with power. a black turtleneck. The, the person who created, I mean, who's like a part of, she stepped down and she said that it was really more of a French. It was like really oh, like a please. more creative type of thing. So you're not, you're not buying you, you know, you're a, you're a fashion impresario. You into the fashion. I don't know, man. I That's mean, look, thing. if somebody gifted this shit for me to me for free, I still wouldn't wear it. I'd be like, you had your damn mind. What were you thinking? This is a no go. Gucci or not, this is a no go. Got you. I don't know. I mean, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a. I think it was a big discussion that they had, you know, about it, and you know, certain people kind of like they're still not really falling for, even though Gucci said that they would change their, their whole perception and you know include more minority designers from all types of backgrounds. A lot of people still well, you not know kind what? of buying it. You know what this but, is but like Mayweather. Um, Mayweather, you do have people who are supporting it, like Young Thug, right. and Mayweather, who are actually are, are, are saying, you know. I'm still gonna rock Gucci, and you have other celebrities who are into it. But then you have other celebrities on the other end who are not with it. You know, a lot more like Fifty Cent, not with it. Um, right. You know. Um, well, I mean, look, it's not. It's not like it, here's here's another thing. You know what? That's a good point that you're bringing up. Like, you know, yeah. uh, like no, no, no. Uh, the point that I'm trying to I, not with it. A lot of people. Well, here's not. the thing. Just because you don't like any one particular thing that any one particular company may do, does that necessarily mean now that you boycott the entire line, you boycott the entire company? You know what I mean? It's like, dude, like, they fucked up. They made a product that clearly somebody wasn't thinking, but what are you going to do now? Just not ever wear Gucci? That's you know what I mean? The debate is that, you know, there's not enough uh, consciousness on you know, African American and not and just minority in general, you know, yeah. the, uh, Well, that I will say. It's true. Yeah. Because remember back in November, um, I had brought up on, I think it was our second episode about Jennifer Lawrence doing Dior's ad. Um, and sh the whole controversy there was that why did you get Jennifer Lawrence, who's clearly a white woman, to represent um, Mexican, um, oh my God, uh, Mexican heritage, you know, because that, it was... That, 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 wait, hold on. Well, Christian right. Dior, Christian Dior is under the Louis Vuitton brand. You know, so Louis Vuitton, yeah. it's called LVMH. So Louis Vuitton owns that whole Christian Dior. Yeah. Sandy but it's Dahl. the same thing. It's the same principle how, like, you know, that's a minority group as well. That's clearly not being, I guess, as considered as much as they should be. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's it's true. And I agree that I think there needs to be a more inclusive uh, board when, before finalizing, you know, somebody's decision to then get made a whole bunch of pieces for the public to like you know consume there probably should be an extra step saying hey is this okay before we just go on and make like five hundred thousand pieces of xyz mm -hmm. you think this looks a little blackface or no you know yeah well i mean that's definitely you know definitely an ongoing topic that we will be um kind of following up on you know but um on the on the, on the celebrity front uh j-lo and a-rod I you know, know. They, you know what I mean, uh, they they get married, and then also um, chance chance to create chance chance the rapper married yeah, his, got married too. Yeah, so did you see the ring, bro? Of uh, J Lo, J Lo ring. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, I didn't see. I did I see it. Fifteen I I carrots, little, uh, bro. Fifteen I, carrots. I heard. I heard it was a big rock. I heard it was a big rock. I didn't bro, see it's it. like literally a rectangle, That's like cool. half of her finger. <laughs> Yeah, so that's 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 a good thing. Um, good the good thing. Shout out, thing. Shout out to all, shout out to all the elder people who marry Chance and A Rod and everyone and J Lo. I mean, that's a fine. Good thing. It's fine. Um, you don't like that. Fine. You like that? Are you <laughs> upset? She took no, I'm A Rod. Not upset. That's your man. No, I think actually I think they're a very cute couple. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I'm happy for them. But damn it, you know, that ring, I was reading up on the ring alone because obviously it's the talk of the town. Mm-hmm. And um, I think some appraisers said that it might cost anywhere between one to five million dollars. Damn, man. I know. How do you, you know, walk I, around as a woman I'm with that much money I'm, on your finger? I'm not, I don't know if I could even, I'm not even fathoming spending that type of money. Like, I'm very cheap when it comes to <laughs> like stuff like that. You know, you know how many houses or investments you could put into that? Oh, my God, I you know. You know what I mean? It's crazy, you know. Just, yeah, I but don't, don't let your future wifey hear that you're cheap with this I, ring by him. Yeah, I think you'd rather want the investments, I think. You know what I mean? Like, I would put um, like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing about women. We like shiny things. Yeah, you so, can get, definitely get designer clothing. That's not worth <laughs> <laughs> oh, We like man. shiny things. That's crazy. How much, you know, is a really going to spend? I mean, he's really going to plop down that type of money. Or, or do you think, you know, let's, have let's you talk seen her about, ass? Like, let's talk about her ass. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, like at ass. the end of the day, yeah. he put our ring on it. Okay. Yeah. The end. Yeah, Done so. Uh, now that ass is his for the rest yeah, of his life. Yeah. I, I would have waxed that ass before we been <laughs> you know I, mean? I would have been when I, I mean, if you, I'm sure he got in it for two years prior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, yeah, they've been together. Like, you yeah, know, for now two it's years. Man. Come on. People are saying this is what her twelfth husband. A fourth, fourth husband. <laughs> her twelfth. <laughs> You've been waxed that ass, you know. All um, right. Well. So, 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 What's on the other? What's on the other? On the other? Would anything else? Um, All right, let's go international for a second, because I I okay. came across this news article and I was like, who the fuck? So I'm gonna go international real quick. Um, a German man, so Germany, shout out to Germany, <laughs> a German man who poisoned several co-workers for years, sprinkling toxic metals into their food and drinks, was convicted on charges of attempted murder and sentenced to life in prison on Thursday. Finally Damn. caught the motherfucker. Yo, 57-year-old tool maker for 30 years said the man rarely spoke and had no friends. My dude, it happens time and time again. If you hear the clapping sound in the background, that's me. It's like, hello, why is this a problem? Man doesn't speak, has no friends, doesn't even shower, smells like shit. Hello, he's a murderer. That's all the tall tale signs. That's it. But you know, sometimes you don't really notice it until it's noticed. It's past. Oh, no. You know oh, you that? notice when B.O. hits your nostrils out of left field because you standing in the middle of the room and you're like, hmm, I know smell what like I mean. Death. It's like yeah, smell like death. There you go. You know it's like I mean? the warning is in the air, literally. Well, they, they do say that death, death death, is upon, you know, has a strong odor. <laughs> like that. That's what they say. I don't know. You know I, mean? I don't, I don't well, ever want to smell death. You know what I mean? That's not yeah, well, something I want. To. All these motherfuckers smell it. And yeah, since the year 2000... Um, oh, and look at this, look at this. And and look, the victim said, explaining their relationship, and I quote, I had no problem with Klaus. So they're calling him Klaus O. I don't know if that's his real name. That's what they're mm. calling him. I had no problem with Klaus. And I accepted that he does not want any contact. There was never an argument. Of course not, because he's a silent killer. He's going to oh, open up your lunchbox when you ain't looking, take the freaking cyanide. That's your new mayo. That's crazy. That's your new hot sauce. For all he knows, he spiked the <laughs> bottle of hot sauce in the office, and everybody's or, putting down their chicken, dying off. Yeah, that's or, or or if you don't like hot sauce, it could be your barbecue sauce. Any sauce, pick a sauce. Red, he probably put it in sauce. all the sauces. Honey mustard. This psychopath. Yeah. Oh man, that's 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 kind of. Uh, Can you imagine? Well, yeah, that's 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 kind of wild. You know, that's. I mean, we've heard some shit, you know, but like this one. Shout out to Germany. Well, shout out to bon, a- bon, bon Appetit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to Lunchtime. Hashtag Lunchtime. Yeah. Hashtag Coworker Love. Hashtag I'm About to Die. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hopefully the person is in heaven and did all the right things, you know? Um, the person well, you know what? Person. I mean, if I had to wrap person. up. <laughs> If I had to wrap up this episode, um, Yosan was amazing. We learned that J Lo got married, and her ring is worth more than I'll ever have in my fucking life. And right. what else have we learned from today's episode? We learned about uh, we're late on the Gucci bag, but I guess we learned about be considerate right. of 
community. Be considerate of minority communities yeah. and stop or with this black face. Community in general, I guess, you know. Right. You know. But I can yeah, understand. true. I can, and, and me being a minority myself, but I can understand if people are using, you know, um, you know, okay, let's, uh, the creative aspect of stuff too. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. let's not, let's not overdo because at the same time, you know, this whole thing of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't even know what to even call it. Like this whole pot, like uh, intellectually co- correct stuff, you know, I mean, I'm in comedy too. Like, you know, I'm into comedy. So like this whole thing of, you know, we have to watch everything that we do and everything that we say, you know, and we can't grow from it at the same time. Like, you know, you know, well, we have to, you know, be, I, if, if, if we if we nitpick at everything, then stuff won't be funny. You know, I think that's right. what's good about comedy. And what's good about having faults is that we can nitpick to become better people. Right. right. So, you know, at the same time, let's not overdo it. Right. This whole culture like, let's not boycott Gucci, but we could definitely say that somebody fucked up with this sweater right. and it looks horrendous. Well, I mean, at the same, at the same time, yeah. And, and be inclusive Don't and still it. be inclusive to communities. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, as a minority, I, of course, I'm also inclusive on in a lot of stuff. So let's, 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 but at the same time, let's also find humor in our redundancy. Guys right. out there, right. really, so, uh, let's, let's, Google let's, search let's, this sweater. It's yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't get over it. It's so bad. And this, and this, and this is the cast episode five. And, uh, you know, I'm Sammy B along with Louisa L. Yeah. And, and on the battery, John Don. Losing battery, John. That's losing battery. <laughs> uh, you know, we are the cast, man. <laughs>